Dang, it's cold. I got a call today from a um, friend in Montreal, Canada. They've had 20 inches of snow. And right now it's 55 degrees out there. It's probably dropped down to 50 and I'm freezing. <laughs> Isn't that just, we're Angelinos, what can I say? Anyway, I have this thought. Okay, uh, about 10 years ago, somebody came along with a record of Nikos and I got all excited and I stuck everything in this frame. All right, I don't know if you can see it. Okay, now I'm thinking of a bigger frame and a picture of this, an autographed picture of this slapped on top of it. Okay, now I need your opinions or if I could do it like that, the record, the actual 78 record with the picture and then offer the, what, the song on a CD, oops, like that. People can listen to the CD and they wouldn't even have to bother at 78 RPM, which is over 60 years old now. These records are literally 60 years old. It's unbelievable. Um, that photo of Rosa Eskenazi that was brought to us back in February is dated December 12th, 1952. I was dumbfounded. So that's how old these actual 78 RPM records are, um, which is absolutely amazing. Apparently, Nico was with the company from 1952 through 1955. Um, and then went on to, uh, you know, other places. Um, left the company, which continued on with more people uh, taking over. Um, there was a company he started along with a man named... Um, John Miller and his singing partner there, um, Ted Gavarakis, with Antoni Loris, uh, Rosa Eskenazi sang on that label. They label, excuse me, Virginia Magidu was another um, was another hot number back in those days. Uh, Malia Bacchus um, worked with Nico, but her daughter Diamando actually plays on um, Sultanos on that. Uh, she plays a little Dumbelek or Dumbek, whatever they call it. Anyway, I was just thinking, what are your thoughts are out there, people? Let me know. Is that a good idea to offer up as a gift to somebody or maybe put it on eBay with the autographed photo? Just out of curiosity, let me know your thoughts. Thanks.